everybody. I'm at my favorite park again, Boyce Gardens in Toowoomba, and I'm gonna do a Via Cruiser wagon review for you. I'm gonna assemble it in front of you here so you can see how easy it is to put together. And then I'm gonna go and talk about my favorite features, my not so favorite features, the places I've tested it out, and whether or not I think it's worth buying. So the current model Via Cruiser Wagon in Australia retails from about $900 to $1,200, depending on where you buy it. To set it up, there's a little finger pull here. That's your handle. So this is your push and pull bar. It comes with two cups for cold drinks. They're not for hot drinks. Your hot drinks are probably gonna spill. So your sidewall comes up, it clicks into place. This sidewall clicks into place and then it stays up when you put the seats in like this. So I'll just lift it up so you can see inside. So it has two five point harnesses. Both sidewalls have got some pocket mesh storage for all your kids' toys and drinks and things. It doesn't come with any soft seating. You gotta press the button on the wheel to get it to go on. And same here, you gotta press the button to get the wheel on. The Via Cruiser has got a brake here where the push slash pull handle is, so you can Lock it on. Now that actually locks these wheels, not these ones. And then you push. So you can see I have no shoes on, but that is a very thong friendly brake. When you purchase the Via Cruiser, it comes with a child snack tray. Here you will notice the footwell. Gonna push that down. The snack tray sort of clips on around a little like nut or bolt thing that's sitting here. It's very firmly attached. Your kids are not getting that off unless they're a bit older. Something I really do like about the design is that. It's got these little spill holes. So see where you've got this here? There's like little tiny holes in there. So if your child spills a drink, it's kind of going to drain out the bottom. And when you're hosing this down with a gurney after using it on some rough terrain or at the beach, again, the water's got somewhere to leak out there. It is really easy to manoeuvre. I, it's effortless. It's effortless to use on sand, even soft sand. Push or pull, it's pretty good. You know, a lot of people complain about navigating it when they're pushing, but I'm not really having that much trouble. Even with both my kids in here, it goes pretty well. So I have been told that if you use it at the beach, you really need to clean it well afterwards and spray the metal bits in your wheels with a bit of WD-40 
because sand can sort of gunk them up. I'm going to pop the brake on now. So this is complete what you will get when you buy a Via. There are optional accessories, so I'm going to pop them on it now. So I have two canopies and I have a storage basket. Depending on how many children are going to be using your Via, you definitely will need this, the canopies or you need to use maybe one of those golf umbrellas that clip on so you have a bit of shade for your child. Um, the storage basket, you know, take it or leave it. I've hung a couple of bags off the end here, probably close to 10 kilos worth of weight and it was fine. So you may not need the storage basket unless you really do need that extra storage. I like the Veer storage basket more than the Wonderfold storage basket because you can fit more in it to start with and see these pins here? When you put your storage basket on, oh, I did that the wrong way. When you put your storage basket on, it fits in and it has like these click pins that go in so it doesn't come out something that I don't like about my storage basket at my wonderfold is it, it can come out really easy when you're picking it up and putting it in the car leaving the storage basket attached now it doesn't have a lid it just has this zippered mesh thing so you can either throw things inside it or really load it up fully load it up and then zip it up so nothing falls out I'm honestly not the hugest fan of these canopies they're a little bit tricky to get on and off there is a like sort of like a click button here so when you're putting them on you have to really get them upright to get them on and again they've got to go in in the right spot so they have to go in in front of here you'll see there's like a little sticking out metal bit just under the lip so just here so they've really got to go on in the right spot at the back all you do is attach them and that's your canopy. Now, that's great if you've got one-year-olds, two-year-olds, three, four-year-olds in this wagon. After that, they are starting to run out of some headspace. So anybody that big in the wagon is probably not going to have a canopy on on their side. You could quite easily throw a towel over that if you were really worried about the sun getting on your little kiddos. It has a peek through window and this has magnets in it so it doesn't blow back if you're using the peek through window. I'll just show you what they look like. I'll show you what that storage basket looks like at the front there. So like I said, a lot of storage. Now you can buy a nap system and you can buy a toddler comfort seat to make the plastic seats inside here more comfortable for your child if you're going out on a really big day. 
basket is what I'm talking about. I'm not a big fan of these because they do, they just seem to clip out. They don't seem to want to stay when you're retracting, see? Yeah, this one came off as well. I think that's something we uh, do need to be working on, hopefully. My kids can both fit in here, but it's not a very comfortable fit. So that's because one of my kids is nine and he doesn't actually ride in our stroller wagon when we go places. I just use him as a test dummy to weight test things. Um, you can't get this harness on a child that is nine and my daughter who's only one she will be two um, in about another four months but she can get out of this seat belt so that's something to be said as well it is just a push button to release the seat belt and she just has watched me doing it a couple of times and now she knows that that's how you get out. It's not as high on the sides as I would like. So if a kid, a little kid, like a one or a two year old kid stood up, they might topple out. They probably wouldn't topple out if you had this over them while they were going. See, that's coming again. It does not want to stay in there. This does the best on sand out of all the wagons I've tested this year. Truly, you can push and pull it on soft sand. I can't rate it enough. It's so much lighter than the burly wagon is, and I feel it's more functional for day-to-day -day use than the burly wagon. I had always planned to try and do like a little grocery shop with the burly wagon, but I haven't worked up the courage to do it. I took this to Aldi though, loaded that up with my groceries, loaded that side up with my groceries, loaded this up with a heap of groceries on the handlebar as well and just had my daughter sitting sitting in there as we walked home and it was great. It was as easy to push on the way back as it was on the way down. Whereas I definitely start to notice some weight in my Wonderfold if I load that cart right up to do shopping. Probably the only other extras worth mentioning that they have got, you can buy for the beer, is they have sidewall kits to make this look pretty. There's all different colours. I know in America you can get, you know, different coloured canopies and things, but I haven't seen that available in Australia just yet. You can now get like a little parent console type thing for cups and, you know, putting your phone and whatever in. You can also get a cargo net. The wonderful cargo net does fit on here. and. Also, the other cargo net worth mentioning that fits on here, just goes here, clicks around, is one of those, you know, center, center cargo nets you can buy for the car that you sort of put there near your glove, well, not your glove box, your center console. Yeah, so they, they fit, the, the ones that go between the two seats, they fit quite well. I've seen a few different hacks like that on TikTok and I thought, ooh, that's a good idea. Um, Honestly, if I was going to use a veer as my everyday pram, I would want to put something in here. So you either buy that toddler comfort seat from Beer, or you would get somebody to make you, or you would make it yourself if you're a handy sewer, a nice, comfortable insert that's padded. And then if you do need to use this while you're out for your child to have a sleep in, what you can do is that canopy coming off again what you can do is you could put an air pillow like a camping pillow in here and then put like a nice comfortable memory foam bath mat or one of those small pet beds that you can buy in here and just put a bassinet sheet over it and then voila portable cot and that's probably what I would do if this was my main stroller wagon Look, I, I slides the canopy and that could be user error guys. I'm not gonna say that it's not. I've only had this thing a couple of weeks. I slides the canopy, I do really like the beer and I do think it is probably the easiest stroller wagon to push and pull. 
and I really liked that it is so easy to clean. So we took it to the beach in Bundaberg. Well, we went to, not Bundaberg, but a beach up from Bundaberg. And it got filthy and I just blew it out with our blower back. And then I hosed it out with the gurney and I let it all dry. I took this, all this off, put it in the washing machine and it has just come up perfect. It, I was just amazed at how easy it was to clean. It takes no effort at all to get it clean up and clean like that. Hmm, I'm trying to think what else I should mention to you guys. It doesn't take up that much storage in the group when you take all the wheels off and it is quite light. Um, I think the only things that I would really like to see in future models from Via is a slightly longer stroller wagon. So they make a four seater now, but it's only wider, it's not longer. And I feel like if it was just 10 centimeters longer, you could comfortably fit older kids in there as well. Um, and maybe, maybe they should sell it complete. You know, like, it really should come with shade. Like, the wonderful wagon comes with the canopy. I think shade is a must for a pram or a stroller wagon. In Australia, it shouldn't be an optional extra. And I'd probably also like to see... No, I think that's, that's really it. Like, it is, it is so good definitely a wagon worth buying if you live on a farm or you live near the beach or you're definitely going to be going and doing a bit of off-roading this does so much better on gravel and really thick grass and sand and you know rocky terrain it does a lot better than the wonderful does it does a lot better than every other pram wagon that i have tested does actually okay well, that's my review, guys. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.